Hi all, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Megastat add-ins into your Excel uh, sheet. So this is assuming that you have already downloaded Megastat. Usually when you download Megastat from the Moodle site, it's probably going to go to your download folder, which is like right up here for me, downloads, and here's Megastats. So you just double click on that. And this is going to invoke Excel. And once you have Excel, uh, this is what we need to do. We're going to go to File. And you click on File. There you go. And then you scroll down, go down, down. Let me actually show you more of the area on my desktop. Okay. You go down to Options and double click on Options or just single click and then you go to add-ins and once you go to add-ins you see a list of already inactive application add-ins that are in Excel so you just want to go down here to manage Excel add-ins and hit go and uh, forget the mega stat here that I already have because I already installed it at this point you should not see mega stat okay so you go to browse and once you go to browse again uh, you have to go to your download where uh, let me see there you go you go to downloads and mega stats double click on that uh, already exists again yours is not going to give you that prompt because you don't have mega stat unless you already do just hit yes and then there it is it should appear uh, in your excel uh, the add-in is a third-party vendor that actually has created this to work with uh, Excel. So at this point, once you've selected it, hit OK. And once the add-in is successfully installed, you will see it right up here. You see that add-ins? And here's Megastat. Okay, so if you want to, let's say, create a new worksheet, you do Control n and Control N will give you a new worksheet. And uh, just to play around with this a little bit, let's say I have X. I'm just going to put some random numbers here. 56, 45, 46, 76, 76, uh, and 68. And there you go. And let's say we want to find the average of these. Now, if you're actually in an Excel environment, so all the Excel functionalities are there if you just want to mess around with this. Uh, so if I want to find the average X value here, I go to add-ins, megastat, descriptive statistics, and here's a list of descriptive statistics that are on there. I just want to choose the mean, uh, sample variance, and uh, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, let's do median, uh, and that's good enough. Hit OK. Oh, you must have saw range. Okay, sorry about that. That's my input range. And there you go. I'll show you how to use Megastat as, as we go through these uh, lectures. And there you have it, input range, and hit uh, OK. The input range tells it where the data is. And there you go. What Megastat does, it creates a new tab called Output tab. Sheet 1 is actually where I put my data. I can rename Sheet 1. Uh, if you just uh, double click on it and call, just call it, I don't know, um, there you go, Chapter 1, something like that. You don't have to name it at all. So anyway, your output is in here. This is the sample size, the sample mean, sample variance, and all of the statistics. So I just want to show you how to install the add-ins and hopefully this will help you uh, activate uh, Megastat in, in, within your Excel. 